Casio, a brand known for its innovative spirit, has built a timepiece that exceeds the typical expectations of budget-friendly watches, offering features and design elements that make it a compelling choice. Casio's journey into the watchmaking world began in the 1970s, and it quickly became a pioneer with the release of the Casiotron, the world's first digital watch with an automatic calendar. This spirit of innovation continues today with the MTPS 101, showcasing Casio's culture into making affordable watches that keep up with modern tendencies. Despite of the high-end specs that this watch offers, it is still not perfect having a major flaw that might convince some users to avoid buying it, but more about this a bit later. Firstly, this MTPS 101 is a men's watch. Just like the model number indicates, the M meaning men and the models that feature the L as the first letter of the code number is mainly made for ladies and for delicate wrist sizes. Wearing a LTP model doesn't mean that you are breaking the rules, but it is more about the size of the watch that is a bit smaller compared with the M models, as Casio usually focuses on unisex models. The Casio MTPS 101 is a masterclass in combining the design with the technology inside. Its dial is reminiscent of classic military watches with bold hour markers and simple hands that ensure excellent legibility. For those familiar with the Hamilton Khaki series, the comparison is inevitable. This Casio shares a similar aesthetic with its Swiss-made competitor. And of course, this comparison is absurd. But as I've always wanted a Hamilton khaki, this one made me rethink my purchase, as now I see that it doesn't attract me as much as it's used to, because I think that I would have bought it just for the looks and for the military inspired dial, not necessarily for its automatic movement and for the Swiss made writing at the 6 o'clock position. Starting from the dial, the large Arabic numerals from 1 to 12 and the minute markings placed right under the hour numerals indicate a close resemblance with a military field watch. The bigger and bolded 12, 3, 6 and 9 numerals bring the explorer style into the spotlight. Though here Casio made a huge design mistake to cut the 3 o'clock marker and replace it with a very deeply placed date window that in this case being a wide window disrupts the whole symmetry of the dial. But no watch is perfect, neither this one. This thing being a negative part of the watch, I always choose to find the brighter side of things and don't focus too much on the negative parts when it comes to criticizing watches. But talking about the positive things, the printing is incredibly well made. And there is an aspect that is probably displayed on a dial, which is the way that this watch is powered. This is a solar watch, it features a capacitor inside, and the dial is made to capture the light without any compromise in its design. The dial is not a solar panel, but does a great job hiding the solar panels beneath it. Casio, with the exception of G-Shocks, rarely releases solar watches, and when they release them, they are incredibly hard to find. I was lucky that I found this one brand new three years ago for exactly 50 US dollars. The solar powered movement ensures that the watch stays charged with minimal effort, using the light from any source to keep it running smoothly. For those ones who prioritize convenience, this makes this Casio an attractive choice especially compared to mechanical watches that require regular winding or, for quartz watches, battery replacement. Of course, there are many other versions from Casio and other brands that feature nice solar movements. But from what I saw out there, this is my favorite one. The watch also offers 50 meters water resistance, making it suitable for daily wear and light water exposure. While it may lack the depth of features found in higher-end watches, 
it excels in delivering exactly what most users need, accurate timekeeping, and a pretty comfortable case. With its 39mm case, it strikes an ideal balance between modern and classic sizing. Making it comfortable on a wide range of wrist sizes, the watch is available with both stainless steel and leather strap options, enhancing its versatility. Whether you're dressing up for a hiking trip or going casual, this Casio adapts easily. I told you before that there's a major flaw that could make a lot of people avoid this watch, and that already did because Casio doesn't produce it anymore. The watch's chrome-plated case adds a polished, sophisticated touch, although it's worth nothing that it doesn't offer the same durability as a solid stainless steel case. This is one area where Casio shows its budget-friendly nature, although this being considered a minus, I've had it for about 3 years and being worn mostly when going into the woods where the amount of sweat on my wrist is considerably high, it shows no weakness. Usually the chrome-plated cases get easily damaged by acids, but Casio put a lot of thought into this one and the chrome plating was done at high standards, and just like any other Casio, it doesn't disappoint you. In the same note, it features, as expected, a mineral crystal that is there just to protect the dial and keep the water resistance. But for such construction and material used, I wouldn't expect Casio to use a sapphire. In fact, it would be useless compared to the chrome plated case. The case shape is built in such a way that curves around my wrist, making it, if not the most, but one of the most comfortable watches in my entire collection. The 50 meters water resistance are kept by a push-pull unsigned crown and a stainless steel press case back. I've just reminded that speaking of the movement and case back, I'm pretty sure that they will outlast the longevity of the case and continue ticking even after the chrome will be gone and only the brass case will be exposed and tarnished by the wearer. On my 6.5 inch wrist size, it fits like a glove and the 20 millimeters lug width make this watch be easily paired with multiple strap options found on the market. I usually wear it with its original really cheap NATO strap, but from time to time I pair it with a full-size NATO strap or leather. From all these sayings, there are multiple reasons to avoid this watch, but if I were to buy it again, I would buy it over and over again, not for its case specs, but for the movement inside and for the looks of it looks great on video, and I hope you see the same thing, but looks even better in person. The Fortina of the dial markings brings the vintage vibes and military aesthetics forward. I think that Casio didn't want this watch to be their masterpiece at all, but just to show off what they can do and to tease just a bit their customers. Does it really remind you of a Hamilton watch? I don't know. Exactly, but for me this model cured the need of buying a Hamilton. Because firstly, its design attracted me in buying it, not necessarily its movement and its military history here. They even release other versions with different dials, but this one caught my eye, and this one looked closer to the Hamilton version that I wanted. Casio is a great brand and an affordable brand that helps a lot of users to cure their obsessions for expensive brands. Casio even managed to cure my obsession for Cartier Tank and saved me almost 3 grand with its tank release in December 2023. If you didn't see my review with it, check out the description of this video or simply click in the upper corner of the screen, you'll find it there. And if you like this video, don't forget to like the video and if you want to support this channel and see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. My name is Ed and you watch another episode from Brisaga.